It's easy to see that when they were planning to develop Wish, they decided to take a little bit of inspiration from the movie Encanto and took certain things from that story. One of these things is the main character of Wish called Asha. She has a unique characteristic that some people noticed at first sight. This girl shares a great physical kinship with Isabella Madrigal. If we look at a bit of the design of both characters, we will see more easily how similar these two girls are. The first thing that stands out is the color of the pink outfits. The other thing that stands out is the design of the face that share similarities. Even Asha's eyebrows also have some influence of Isa's eyebrow. Although Asha's eyebrow is not as thick as Isabella's, and the color of the skin is almost the same. I wouldn't be surprised to learn that over time, someone who worked on this project leaked the information revealing that the animation team took one of Isabella Madrigal's better character designs, tweaked it a bit, and gave it to Asha. From the looks of these scenes that Disney released, Asha may be a new Disney princess. And if so, Asha would also share princess status just like Isa because she is a princess within the story of her own movie. What do you say? Will Asha be a Disney princess? Leave the crown emoji if you think she will be a princess. If you don't, leave an X. Wish is the new Disney movie, and not long ago the first teaser trailer was released, and we can easily see that the movie has a wide variety of references, easter eggs, and winks to different movies of the same company. In this video, we will talk about the references to the Disney princesses that this trailer contains. Some of these Disney girls that you will see in this video will be Elsa and Rapunzel. In the video description and the attached comment, there will be timestamps for each reference in case you want to see a specific one first. The person who comments where we look at this character, your comment will be in an upcoming video. For a short moment, we see that the protagonist is next to a water well. This may be a reference to the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In one scene, the princess draws water from a well. Wish is supposed to be a unique film, as it seeks to celebrate 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. Therefore, it carries all the magic that characterizes Disney. Based on this, it would not be crazy or an exaggeration to think that this water well is a discreet Easter egg to Snow White. When Asha enters this place, we see a nod to two Disney girls. In this scene, we see numerous glowing bubbles coming down from above. The interesting thing about this scene is the glowing particles. This is a nod to Rapunzel. In one scene from the movie, Flynn Rider takes Rapunzel to a place where she can appreciate the floating lanterns. A Disney animated movie isn't a movie if it doesn't have references to Frozen, and Wish is chock full of nods to those films. The wink that I just mentioned is also related to the second Frozen movie, specifically where our goddess Elsa sings the song Into the Unknown and discovers that she can hear a voice calling to her to go to the Enchanted Forest. Precisely here, multiple small figures appear all over the place, and thanks to the fact that the figures are bright, they give illumination to the dark night. According to the trailer, we know that we will see such glowing bubbles several times during the movie. Therefore, when we are watching it, we may be reminded of some scenes from Tangled and Frozen. Leaving that wink aside, let's talk about another reference Wish continues to hold with such a song from Frozen 2. Seconds before the aforementioned glowing figures appear, Elsa makes this movement with her body so that later the figures appear. Asha makes a very similar movement, but this time, instead of the shiny particles appearing, birds on the ground fly away quickly. Watch the scenes to get a better idea of the above mentioned. In another scene of the trailer, we see one more reference to the same song. In this part of the trailer, we see a bunch of particles flying above the audience. These particles are very similar to the ones we see when Elsa is singing and enters a kind of portal. Suddenly, glowing particles are flying all over the place! In another part of the clip, we look at these characters. They are a reference to the seven dwarves that appear in the Snow White movie. If you look closely, you'll realize that this character represents Doc, because he has almost the same clothes and the same glasses he wears. 
I assume that this other character represents Sneezy because his nose is the same size as his, and this other character could be bashful. The way she looks at the camera reveals who she is supposed to be. In order to be not so boring, I'm ending the analysis of this wink, but you can rewind the video a little bit backwards to take a closer look at these characters and draw your own conclusions. In a very small scene, we see several characters who climb the tower and then spectacularly come down. I wonder, what other character did the same thing in a Disney princess movie? As a fun fact, inside the tower there is a sun drawn on the floor. This looks pretty familiar. I know I've seen it in another film. I'm sure you've already figured out the answer because this happens in the Rapunzel movie. It is seen when Flynn Rider climbs to the top of the castle and discreetly descends with the purpose of stealing Rapunzel's crown. When you look over the setting of Wish, you might think uh, this story is a spin-off of Encanto, even though on social media there is a theory that states that Asha is the daughter of Isabella. It is understandable that there are these types of rumors since the factors lend themselves a lot to say what has been mentioned. In addition to the physical relationship that Asha and Isa share, it is unknown if they will also share a family relationship. We will have to wait for the movie to be released to find out. There is a pretty clear connection that has to do with Isabella and the movie Encanto. Do you remember what Isabella's magical power consists of? For those who don't remember, let's see a few seconds of the scene that she stars in. She basically tries to generate flowers of different colors. What matters most in this situation are the colors of the flowers. For a brief moment, we see Asha interact with a bunch of different colored butterflies. These butterflies are a discreet nod to Isa's magical power. Since the flowers maintain similar colors to butterflies, and the butterflies are related to the whole story of Encanto, since a butterfly is seen everywhere. If you liked the Encanto movie, in the description of this video and in the commentary attached, I leave you a video where we show you the references and connections that Encanto contains with the other Disney princess movies. Go watch the video because it's sexy! It's hotter than your crush! <laughs> Now, let's talk about the town where the film takes place. If you are a fan of the Rapunzel franchise, I ask you to help me with this information by commenting if we are right or if we made a mistake. We believe that this town has some influence with Corona from Tangled. It looks like this town is a little hybrid of this kingdom and other places. The way this village is built is somewhat similar to Rapunzel's kingdom. The castle where the royals live is located on top of the small island, while below the kingdom is the entire village of Corona. The architecture of the town of Wish has a lot in common with that kingdom. On top of the place is this tower and the citizens of the town live below. What do you think about this town in theory having Corona's influence? I invite you to comment your opinion. The plot of this movie involves a magical wishing star. This star itself is a reference to a variety of films from the same company, such as the classic Pinocchio film, The Princess and the Frog, Peter Pan, The Lady and the Tramp, among other iconic Disney films. The star has become a signature symbol of the Disney brand and is frequently seen in Disney films. This adventure is almost over, but before I go, I invite you to watch one of the videos that are appearing on the screen, or you can also watch the video of Encanto that I have left in the commentary posted. I say hello, hey, hello, konnichiwa, and bonjour to everyone who's watched this video, and the previous video, and to everyone who commented, thank you for watching the video, and may the goddess Elsa bless you! <laughs> My name is Kira, and we will hear each other in another video. Bye-bye!